You're watching the KUSI News at 6. A new study on energy drinks and their potential danger to kids. KUSI's Sasha Fu is live with the details now. Sasha? Alan, well, these drinks are supposed to boost your energy and your concentration, but according to a new study published today, researchers warn that these drinks could be dangerous to children and young adults. They are popular and they're marketed to youth. Energy drinks that promise more pep, better concentration, better performance in sports. But researchers say these claims are strictly hype. A study in the journal Pediatrics reviewed 121 scientific studies, media reports and government reports to conclude that these drinks put kids and teens at an even greater risk for serious medical problems. The drinks raise blood pressure, increase heart rates and disrupt sleep patterns in children. A local doctor we talked to from Alvarado Hospital says the caffeine heavy drinks could lead to greater risks for heart problems, perhaps even a heart attack. In a young person, if they have a, if they have a healthy heart, probably not. But if they have an undiagnosed cardiac issue, certainly they can. And many kids don't see doctors very often, so who knows what they have. And keep in mind that you do have these, these, these athletes, for example, that would entertain illicit medications that cause coronary artery spasm and cause them to drop dead on, a, um, on, 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 on the basketball floor. So why would anyone want to risk having some undiagnosed or predisposition to coronary artery spasm or something else just because they have a drink? Now also keep in mind that because you can buy this in a supermarket, people think it's okay because if it's in a supermarket, how can it not be okay for you? So it's deceptive marketing in, the, in that respect. Well, the beverage industry would beg to differ. The industry says these drinks are not harmful, that they have about as much caffeine as an eight ounce serving of coffee. But Dr. Michelin says that is still too much. He says it has about the same caffeine content as, get this, 10 cans of Coke or 10 cans of Pepsi. And he says what parent in their right mind would actually encourage their child to consume 10 cans of Pepsi. We're live from Tierra Sata. I'm Sasha Fu, KUSI News. Yeah, that's a lot of caffeine for one teenager. Sasha, these drinks, I understand, are also loaded with a bunch of sugar, too, as well, right? Loaded with sugar to appeal to the teenager's palate, to make it more appealing to them. And, of course, that's also a concern because researchers and doctors are concerned about the development of diabetes and promoting obesity. And there's another thing I'd want to mention. We hear often that these drinks are supposed to enhance concentration in your attention. Well, actually, the researchers found the opposite was true. They say their evidence found that over time, the attention of children actually decreased. The attention span in children actually decreased with the consumption of these drinks. All right, now what they're cut out to be then. All right, Sasha, thank you for that report.